Hi everyone, Cherie here. Today I am going to be working on a pocket page spread. Uh, this is for the month of February uh, for my album and I'm using bits and pieces from the Felicity Jane Henley kit. I've got the journaling cards here but I've also got my pile of Felicity Jane cards, the ones that I haven't used yet. I've got lots of beautiful cards to choose from. So I'll be picking what it will go with this spread today it's a birthday themed spread it's actually my photos from my birthday this year and featuring the gorgeous cake that my husband made me and was out of um, one of our favorite ice creams it's, he made an ice cream cake and it was so delicious so I have to document that um, I would like to also make a card using the awesome stamp set from the kit this month these layered flowers so i really want to have a play with that and i've got a mix of embellishments as well i've got the henley kit embellishments here ready to go but i thought i'd show you how i actually store my embellishments from all the different kits so that i don't get them mixed up now i have this big pile see if i can tip it slightly on its side see that's like a pile of little trays and they all sit really nicely in together so that i can stack them and each tray on the top I store all these washies and the little jars of goodies that we get like the stars and little paper clips and things and each tray holds that kit's embellishment so that's the Zoe kit there and you can see lots of different beautiful things that I can choose from so I like to keep them separate so I can keep track of which kit they came from but I love that they can just all stack nice and neatly together and I have them all there ready to go and it keeps them really nice and neat so anyway I've got a whole mix of embellishments I can use there so what I might do is get started on this stamped card first of all because I'm really loving these stamps at the moment I've had a little play over the weekend and done a few little colors here the flowers there they're so pretty so I'm going to do one on camera for you just to show you how you can stamp these flowers up for yourself. All right, so I'll just get organized and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm all set up here and I've got my stamps already out of the packet, ready to go so I don't have to fiddle with that. I'm using uh, a couple of Stampin' Up! ink pads today. For the leaves, I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz. And for the flower, I've got a Versacolor cube uh, in the mint. And then I've got Pool Party as well from Stampin' Up. Okay, so I know you may have seen some of the other girls uh, making or using these stamps. And uh, I guess the normal way to do it would be to get three different shades of the same color to use for the flowers. But I found on the weekend, I just did not have three different shades that would work together to make these flowers. So I dragged out my fantastic new uh, Tim Holtz stamp platform and it's fantastic I'm able to make these flowers just using two different colors instead of three and the stamp flat platform just allows you to layer the color exactly on top of where you previously stamped so that you can deepen the color and it really works beautifully with these stamps so that's what I'm using today so what I'm going to do is put I've just got some thick paper here that I'm going to put into the platform here. The little magnets just help the paper to stay in place. And I'm going to start with the solid flower. So it actually is numbered on the pack. I'll just give you a look here. So you can see there's little numbers. So for the leaves, I guess if you start with the leaves first, it's got one, two, and then uh, three, four, five. So you can tell which order you're going to stamp these. When you stamp them, you can stamp in that order and have the leaves and flower joined on your paper. But I'm doing them a bit separately today because I want to layer them on my card. So I can quite happily uh, stamp the leaves separate and then trim them up and use them on my card in a different way to how they're arranged on the stamp. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right, so I'm just going to decide where I want to stamp this flower. I'll probably go about there. All right, so I'm going to start with the lighter color, which is this Versicolor Mint. So I'm just going to stamp all over that, all over that stamp. Okay, press that down. Nice there. 
and I'm quite happy with that although I might just go a little bit darker because I can see it's a bit patchy on one side so I'm just going to do that again very quickly and the beauty is it goes exactly down onto where I just previously stamped and that's a much better image okay so I'm just going to clean that one off okay so that stamp is done with so next I'm choosing this next piece of the flower and what I'm going to do is line it up with my stamped image so that I get this in the right spot so just sort of line it up to where you think it may look best oh, I just bumped it there okay we're getting there all right so I'm quite happy with that so I close that now I know it's on the exact spot to where I want to stamp it and now I'm going to swap over to the Stampin' Up! Pool Party color so I'm going to ink that up now okay and down it goes so you can see there oh it's gone a little bit patchy today for some reason but you can see that little variation in colour there with that stamp looking really beautiful. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is clean that one off. Because that colour was a little bit darker, I only need to do one layer of that colour for that stamp. So now I'm going to swap over to the very last stamp for this image. So again, you just need to place it onto the stamp. It may take a couple of minutes just to is to go. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same pool party colour. So I'll ink that one up. And down we go. Okay. So you won't see much of a difference. You can see where I've stamped, but I'm now going to use more of that same color and go right over the top. That's going to make it another shade darker. And we'll try that again. So just layering up those colors now. And that's looking pretty good. All right, so I'll just cover this one up clean off that stamp and get rid of that extra ink that I spread around the place and I'll give you a closer look at what I've just done so it's probably not perfect with the placement of where I've put those stamps but you can see it gives you a beautiful rose image and that is just stunning okay so I'll do the leaves now just pop my paper back on I'm going to start with the solid colour. Now I could join them and they are designed to join up. I think it sort of sits kind of like that off to the side. But I'll be uh, cutting these leaves out today and putting one on either side. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to just stamp them separate. So I'll pop that one there. So I'm using the Pear Pizzazz colour for this. Okay, so I'll just ink that get nice even coverage if I can so I'd only have to stamp it once and down it goes press down nicely on that and that's pretty good I'm quite happy with that coverage Let's clean that off and now we'll go in for the second part of the leaves so again you just have to sit it on top line it up to where it should go there turn it slightly now this one I'm just using the same color going over the top so I'll ink that up and press that down you can see there already it's got that darker shade there but I'm gonna do one more I could have just left it like that but just to give you an idea of the contrast you can create using the same colour ink 
and there you go that looks great and I'll pick that one up and show you how that looks give you a closer look at that look how they've turned out so beautiful all right so I can cut those out now and use them on the little filler card that I'm going to use on my spread today so I'll clean this up and I'll be back Okay, so what I'm going to do is just create this first floral journaling card for you and then I'll go away and sort of put the rest of the little cards together. I've already started selecting which ones I wanted to use, but um, I'll come back after this floral card and finish those off for you. So for this card, I've used the background journaling card from the Henley kit, that white with the diagonal black stripe at the bottom. And I've cut out the flower that I've stamped and the leaves and I've got some messy thread which I've just tucked in underneath where the flower is going to go. And I'm using foam squares behind that flower to pop it up off the card a little bit and that will help to stick down the um, thread into place as well. Now behind the leaves I'm just going to use some double sided tape and then I'll tuck those in under each side which you'll see me do just shortly. Okay, so I am using a whole mix of kits uh, on this spread today and when I go through the cards a little bit later I'll explain which, where each piece is from. Okay, so those leaves are going on there now, just tucking the, the double leaf in on that left hand side and then I can add the other leaf on the right. Now instead of stamping a sentiment for this one, this time I've actually just gone onto my computer and printed out the word celebrate which I'll just grab off my desk there and I've just cut that out and I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to adhere that and then in a moment I'm going to add some stitching to that as well which you'll see when I come back and complete the rest of the cards for you so I'll be back in a minute okay so as you can see I've used some die cuts there to make that first card they were from the Zoe kit and I've got a little silicon heart as well to add to this one and I believe that one oh I can't even remember where that one was from that little heart it's been quite a while it might have been the Caroline kit okay the second one is a photo and I've just got some little Zoe die cuts that little tag and sequin at the bottom left corner there and I've printed out the words make a wish and added some stitching to that so I'm just trimming those threads off there now okay this next card the enjoy today card that was um, oh I can't remember which kit that particular card was from but I've added a little Henley washi flag to that one and added a little bit of stitching and a Henley enamel dot as well just keeping that one really simple okay so I'll add that little dot on there nice and simple that one and I had left the backing on that washi flag as well so it doesn't stick all the way down now my photo card here uh, the little group photo I've added some stitching to that the dotty card was from the Alexis kit last month I believe and I'm just adding some little die cuts to the top here that pink tab was from the Zoe kit and then I've got this little washi uh, speech bubble from the Henley kit and I've left the backing on it so it's a little bit more solid and that way I can use a foam square on the back to pop that up a little bit and to finish that one off I've got a little yellow sequin die cut which is from the Zoe kit and I'm just going to tuck that one in under the edge of that speech bubble in a moment so I'll stick that one on and for the sequin I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue on the back of that one now this next card uh, with the bow on it now what I've done is use a blank white card and I've used a branding strip across the top and I've added some stitching now the bow was from a previous kit and that was from the Kate kit and I just cut out the bow stuck it on and added some tiny tags from the Zoe kit hanging off the piece of twine now the card that I'm working on now uh, that was a piece of blue paper from the Henley kit and I've just cut it cut it down to size added my journaling that I've printed out using my computer and to finish that off I've added some stitching and a little washi arrow from the Henley kit at the bottom and I've got a silicon heart to stick on the top of that one and I think that was from the Caroline kit those cute little hearts love those 
All right, so this next card, really simple. I just added two little die cuts to the top there from the Alexis kit with a little bit of stitching and called that one done. And then, of course, my last card was the floral card, and I've added some stitching across that word there and across the strip for a little bit of extra texture. And I really love how that card turned out. So I'm just going to have a look now and see what other little bits and pieces I can add. So I decide, oh, there is a little hooray word that I'd previously stamped for a, a, another project. So I'm going to add that to that little photo there with a staple. So that's on there. And then I decide to add some staples to a couple of the other cards as well. And then I think I call this one done. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed seeing how this spread's come together. I'll leave you with some close-up photos at the end. If you have any questions, please let me know uh, down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I'll also, as always, leave a link to Felicity Jane down below and um, I hope you'll join me again very soon for another project. Okay, bye for now. 